out benefits. Sometimes it takes very little for a kid to have fun. Today, most of the activities that a child does take place in closed spaces. Activities like watching TV, playing video games or studying occupies most of their time and deprives them of contact with the outside world. Playing outside helps the kids to improve their social skills. In this sense, playing with other children also implies the need to develop leadership and cooperation skills. Sometimes that will be very valuable for the future. Playing outdoors stimulates children's imagination and creativity as it is an ideal setting for inventing games and imagining situations. The learning opportunities are numerous with the possibility and freedom to observe, explore and experiment for themselves. The relationship between children and nature is declining over the years. Closed environments are the most frequent in the lives of most children. It is important to know the many benefits of these outdoor activities so that we seriously intend to include them in the day-to-day -day life of our little ones. Children who play have lower risk of falling ill. Some of them look, some of them lock children at home when the weather conditions are not favorable. Sometimes nature can be a remedy against sedentary activities. Children who spend more time outdoors develop more positive thoughts. Therefore, they are more optimistic and in general obtain greater personal and academic success. This improves their ability to solve problems, calculate risks and therefore improve self-esteem. Sack is one of the most popular outdoor games for children. Prepare as many bags as players, a start and a finish line will do the rest. Fun is guaranteed, you can even use pillowcases. There is a version of this traditional game for children. In India, it is called Stapu, Kit Kit, Nondi in Tamil, Tokkur Billa in Telugu. There are several ways to paint hopscotch on the ground. However, the most common is to paint it with a chalk in the shape of squares. A square is painted with the number 1 inside it. And so on until the number 3. When we get to 4, Two boxes are painted, the number 4 and the other with the number 5. Then we will place a square with the 6, divide the line into two boxes with the 7 and the 8. Then another floor with a square of 9 followed by 10. A small stone is thrown and must fall into the square. It has to be reached by jumping from square to square to the limp. Then returning to the starting line. Plain double squares can both feet be supported. The operation will be repeated from number 1 to 10. The objective is to throw the stone until all the squares are completed. Rope play. Those who have never played this game don't know how immensely fun it can be. Suddenly the team becomes one man, all to compete for victory. That sometimes it comes and other times it doesn't. You have to form two teams and distribute them on each side of the rope. In the center, a handkerchief is placed that must be made to coincide with the line. Coordination and team strength are the keys to winning the game. Garden Twister Red, blue, yellow and green spray cans are all you need to make this outdoor set. The whole family will have fun with this idea that you can paint on your garden lawn. That will show your skill, flexibility and balance. Hide and seek. You can play this wonderful and popular game anywhere. Before the start of the game, all participants in the game need to agree on the boundaries of the territory, beyond which no one can hide. The game begins when the driver is chosen, then the place where the game starts and where it will be necessary to tap is determined. The driver turns to the wall, corner, doorpost, closes his eyes and starts counting and then usually counts up to 20. After that, the driver turns and says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm going to look. Ready or not, here I come. As you can see, it's so much fun to have these best outdoor activities and there are many benefits of enjoying nature. I hope they encourage you to get out from under your blanket and take the kids outside. It is not necessary to leave the city to enjoy nature. In some cities, there are parks with natural elements that will make you breathe fresh air during the days when there is school. 
on weekends don't hesitate if you have to choose between a shopping center or open air you should always win the latter